really good. Well, Mason Marchment was pretty good tonight, too. Yes, he gave he the Stars a 2-1 lead in the second period, and he's now riding a four-game point streak with his 12th goal of the season. And, Brian, it's so good to see him going again after a brutal sco uh, goal-scoring drought. He talked. talked He talked with Michelle in the second intermission, seven. We talk about confidence for goal scorers, confidence for offensive players. First of all, I don't know what it's like to go to a 32-game goal-scoring drought, but he's got three and four since he ended that drought. But also... You're playing with Max Domi. You kind of have a new line mate you're working with. Get me to know here on top of getting some offensive production. So it really has been a complete switch flip for him over these last few games. And perfect time for him to start getting that going here because the Stars are going to need some of his rough and tumble play, bumper car play, if you will, when they get to the playoffs. Yeah, that's what we got to call him because that's what he does. And, and the more he goes to the front of the net, the more he's going to create offense. And what happens, it's timing. There's so much timing involved with a player like that that you have to be going to the net. You have to be getting bounced around. You got to be getting chopped, whacked. Hacked. He loves all that. He just looks like that type of player. And him and Sagan and obviously Max Domi had this great line going and you pull Sagan out. But he's a guy that continues to shine. And you're right. I think in playoffs, you're looking at those kind of guys. Max Domi, who's a, he's not a big guy, but is an aggressive guy. He's going to be, Marchman's going to be a guy that they're going to need Faxa. When you look at the lower level lines, they're going to have to score goals, and he's one of the guys that you look at. So hopefully this confidence will trickle down into that.